Have you ever wondered what's really in your processed foods? In our fast-paced world, where time seems to be a luxury, processed foods have become a tempting solution. They're everywhere, from our local supermarkets to our favorite fast food joints, offering convenience and accessibility that fits snugly into our busy lives. But let's pause for a moment and take a closer look at these foods that have so seamlessly woven themselves into our daily routines. Processed foods, as the name suggests, undergo extensive processing. This isn't just about canning fruit or freezing vegetables. We're talking about a whole different level of transformation. Imagine a natural ingredient, say a grain of wheat. It's stripped of its nutritious layers, pulverized into fine flour, bleached, and then mixed with a cocktail of preservatives, refined ingredients. The final product, a loaf of white bread that barely resembles its original form. This is the reality of processed foods. They are engineered for convenience, but often at the cost of nutritional value. While these ingredients might enhance the taste, prolong the shelf life, or improve the texture, they compromise the nutritional integrity of the food. The essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that our bodies crave are often missing from these products. Sure, a frozen pizza might save you time on a busy weeknight, but it's also likely to be loaded with preservatives. That packet of instant noodles might be a quick fix for your hunger pangs, but it's also a cocktail of additives and refined ingredients. And that can of soda? It's essentially liquid sugar with a dash of artificial flavoring. As we reach for these easy options, we must ask ourselves, what's the real cost of convenience? Is the time saved worth the potential health risks? Is the convenience worth the trade-off of essential nutrients? These are questions we'll delve into as we explore the world of processed foods. For now, just remember that not everything that glitters is gold. Sometimes it's just a shiny wrapper hiding what's really inside. What happens when convenience takes precedence over nutrition? This question finds a haunting answer in the dangers that processed foods pose to our health. When our diets are rich in processed foods, we run the risk of falling into a pit of nutrient deficiencies. These foods are often stripped of their natural nutritional goodness, leaving us with empty calories that lack the vitamins, minerals and antioxidants our bodies need to function optimally. This deprivation can lead to AI of health problems, including fatigue and poor immunity, and serious conditions like anemia and osteoporosis. In addition to these issues, a diet dominated by processed foods has been linked to an increased risk of chronic diseases. Excessive intake of processed sugars and unhealthy fats can cause inflammation and other metabolic imbalances. Over time, these imbalances can pave the way for cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, and even certain types of cancer. Our digestive system also bears the brunt of our processed food choices. These foods often lack the fiber that's abundant in whole, unprocessed foods. Without fiber, our digestive health can take a hit, leading to problems like constipation and an imbalance in our gut microbiota. This imbalance can affect our overall digestive health, causing discomfort and potentially leading to more serious gut-related conditions. It's clear that the dangers of processed foods are numerous and far-reaching. They come cloaked in the disguise of convenience and quick solutions, but beneath the surface, they're a time bomb for our health. They rob us of essential nutrients, increase our risk of chronic diseases and wreak havoc on our digestive system. The price we pay for convenience may be far greater than we realize. It's a price that's measured not in currency, but in our health and well-being. And as we peel back the layers of processed foods and uncover their hidden dangers, we are reminded of the importance of informed, conscious choices about what we put into our bodies. In the end, the question isn't really about what happens when convenience takes precedence over nutrition. It's about what happens when we prioritize our health over convenience. And as we navigate through the aisles of our supermarkets and the menus of our favorite takeouts, we're equipped with the knowledge to make choices that support our health rather than compromise it. The price we pay for convenience may be far greater than we realize. What's really hiding in our food? Often, most dangerous elements in processed foods are those we don't immediately see. They lurk in the shadows, hidden behind tempting flavors and appealing packaging. These hidden culprits in processed foods contribute to a plethora of health issues. But it's not just about harmful elements that are added. It's also about what's lost in the process. Vitamins, minerals and antioxidants often take a back seat in the manufacturing process, leaving us with foods that are far from their natural, nutritious state. 
The truth is, processed foods are more than just convenient snacks or quick meal solutions. They're dressed up in a convenient and often irresistible package. But once you strip away the fancy packaging and tempting flavors, what you're left with may not be as appealing. So the next time you're reaching for that ready-made meal or snack, remember what's really hiding behind the label. Remember the potential health risks that come with consuming these hidden culprits. And most importantly, remember that it's not just about added to our food, but also what's taken away. In the end, it's about making informed choices. It's about understanding what goes into our food and how it impacts our health. And about taking control of our diet, one meal at a time. It's not just about what's added to our, our food, but also what's taken away. How can we navigate the world of processed foods and make healthier choices? As we delve deeper into the labyrinth of modern food consumption, it becomes crucial to equip ourselves with the right tools to discern between convenient shortcuts and genuine nutrition. So let's talk strategy. Let's discuss how we can become conscious consumers in this fast-paced, processed, food-driven world. Firstly, let's address the importance of reading food labels. Now, this might seem like a daunting task, given the myriad of unpronounceable ingredients that often populate these lists. So, when you pick up a product, turn it around and scrutinize that label. Next, let's pivot towards a more proactive approach. Prioritizing whole foods. We're talking about fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. These foods are nature's bounty, packed with essential nutrients without the harmful additives that processed foods often carry. They're high in fiber, low in sugars, and of vitamins and minerals that our bodies need to perform optimally. Incorporating more whole foods into your diet is like giving your body a VIP pass to health and well-being. But what about the times when you crave something more elaborate? Something that goes beyond the raw crunch of an apple or the simple savour of steamed broccoli? That's where our third strategy comes in. Cooking at home. This might seem a bit old-fashioned in the age of ready-to-eat meals and fast food deliveries, but hear me out. Cooking at home is not just about stirring pots and chopping vegetables. It's about reclaiming control over what goes into your body. It's about deciding the quality and quantity of ingredients that make up your meals. When you cook at home, you get to choose the whole grains over the refined ones, the fresh produce over the canned, the lean meats over the processed ones. You get to dictate the amount of salt, sugar and oil used. Essentially, cooking at home is your ticket to a balanced and nutritious diet. At the end of the day, navigating the world of processed foods is about making informed choices. It's about understanding that convenience can sometimes come at the cost of nutrition. It's about recognizing the hidden dangers that lurk within the seemingly innocent wrappers of processed foods. And most importantly, it's about empowering ourselves with the knowledge and tools to make healthier choices. Because remember, every time you choose whole foods over processed ones, every time you read a food label, every time you cook a meal at home, you're making a conscious choice. A choice that not only benefits your health today, but also sets the foundation for a healthier future. So let's start today. Let's become become conscious consumers. Let's make informed choices because our health is worth it. Empowering ourselves with knowledge is the first step towards healthier eating. So what's the final verdict on processed foods? The world of processed foods is a tempting one filled with convenience and immediate gratification. But as we peel back the layers, we uncover a landscape littered with hidden dangers. These seemingly innocent products, engineered for convenience, often sacrifice nutritional integrity. The price of this convenience is steep. A diet heavy in processed foods can lead to nutrient deficiencies, lacking the essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants necessary for optimal health. This deficit in essential nutrients can contribute to a range of health issues, from minor discomfort to serious chronic diseases. Even more alarming, a diet rich in processed foods has been linked to an increased risk of chronic diseases, including certain types of cancer. The excessive intake of processed foods contributes to inflammation and other metabolic imbalances that can wreak havoc on our bodies. Digestive issues are another common consequence of a diet heavy in processed foods. These foods often lack the fiber present in whole unprocessed foods, leading to issues like constipation and an imbalance in gut microbiota affecting overall digestive health. Hidden within the convenience of these foods are culprits like artificial additives, 
additives. These ingredients contribute to elevated blood sugar levels and an increased risk of developing metabolic disorders. So, where does this leave us? The answer lies in making informed choices. Becoming a conscious consumer is the first step. Reading food labels, looking out for artificial additives, and for products with minimal, recognisable ingredients can make a world of difference. Prioritising whole foods is another key strategy. Fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains provide essential nutrients without the harmful additives present in processed options. Cooking at home allows you to control the ingredients in your food, ensuring a balanced and nutritious diet. In the end, the choice is yours. The allure of convenience can be strong, but the long-term consequences of excessive consumption of processed foods should not be underestimated. By understanding the dangers they pose to our health, we empower ourselves to make informed choices. The choice is yours. Will you let convenience dictate your health, or will you take control and make informed decisions? As we wrap up our deep dive into the world of processed foods, we hope this video has shed some light on the hidden dangers they pose. It's a complex issue, one that affects us all in different ways. We're curious to hear about your experiences. Have you noticed a change in your health after reducing your intake of processed foods? Or perhaps you have some tips for others who are trying to eat healthier? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative and helpful, we encourage you to watch more videos from our channel for more health insights. Our aim is to empower you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your health and well-being. We believe that by spreading awareness, we can collectively make better choices and lead healthier lives. So if you've learned something new today, please give this video a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends and family. The more people know about the dangers of processed foods, the more we can help protect our health and the health of our loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our future videos. We have plenty more content coming your way, all aimed at helping you make informed choices about your health. As we sign off, remember, your health is in your hands. You have the power to make informed decisions and take control of your well-being. So, will you let convenience dictate your health or will you take control and make informed decisions? The choice, as always, is yours. Until next time, stay healthy and stay informed.